What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Raider football is around the corner. So I figured today, in today's video, I show off my Raider jersey collection. Um, so this is the first time that I'm pulling all these jerseys out in quite a while. So <laughs> I think me personally, it's going to be a surprise of what I have. But um, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have that much jerseys to show you guys. My Raider collection is not that big. You know, but... It's nothing compared to uh, like the homie Pistol 213. Nothing like his collection at all. I mean, I'm, my goal is to build my Raider collection this uh, for the rest of this year and next year. Because, you know, my Clippers collection is big. Uh, my Kings collection, well, it's kind of hard to find Kings jerseys right now. But So uh, right now I'm focusing on getting my Raider collection up. And uh, I'll see where, where the journey takes me. But anyway, so yeah, shout out to... Uh, Shout out to the homie Pistol. Shout out to POB1 Fool, man. You guys got some dope ass Raider jerseys. Uh, hopefully, I can get there one day. But for right now, I'm going to show you guys what I got so far. So, starting off the collection, I'm going to show you guys my baseball jerseys. This is a vintage starter baseball jersey. We got the Raider shield on the side, AFC uh, patch on this side vintage uh, starter tag right there this is all wool all embroidered blank on the back pretty dope next up uh, one of my favorites this is the pinstripe I know a lot of vintage heads are after this jersey man this is a really dope jersey I love the pinstripe starter baseball jerseys definitely one of my favorites very hard to come by it's just missing a button right here but it's all good I'm not tripping at all all right, so the first pair of jerseys I'm gonna show off are the screen prints, basically the cheap ones. Now, a lot of these screen prints I did find either at the thrift store or at the flea market. So I'm gonna show you guys these ones. And the first one I'm gonna show you guys is uh, the Jerry Rice Reebok screen, screen print joint. Again, nothing too crazy. And uh, got me another one. And this one is a uh, this one's dead stock with the tag still. And on the back, there's a little flaw as you can see. Uh, rice is printed a little bit crooked on the side. That's the only flaw. I got this at the flea market, I believe, for like ten bucks. Next up, wish I had this in an authentic. Shout out to Pistol. This is a uh, Rich Gannon screen print really would love to get this in an authentic i know these are really hard to find but maybe one day i will next up another number 12 but this one is a darius hayward bay another one of the authentics that i want to hopefully get i really like darius hayward bay i remember that game against the steelers when he got knocked out i was crying man i was hoping he was okay but yeah shout out to darius hayward bay one of the great receivers we had fortunately just didn't last next up this one's a beauty this is one of my this is my favorite one this is a bob brown hall of fame edition jersey found this at the flea market paid 10 bucks for it too i think i think i got this the same day as the the jerry rice ones it's from the same seller but yeah this thing is clean really really dope that's my favorite screen print one Next up, I got a Logo Athletic jersey, the Jack Tag. This is a Jeff Hostetler jersey. I found this at the Thrift. I think it was at a Savers. Oops. Found this at a Savers. They were charging 15 bucks, but it was a rated jersey, so I didn't care. Next up, Charles Woodson. This is my dad's jersey. Again, found this at the Thrift. really really dope next up I also found this one at the at the thrift store too it wasn't really a crazy find for me but hey it's a Raider jersey so I didn't care and there's a lot of cracking on this Rhodes jersey but hey it's a Raider jersey so I rescued it from the thrift all right so now oh wait I have one more and I also have my Jordy Nelson, my Nike game jersey. 
I like Jordy Nelson. I was he's one of my favorite receivers that wasn't a Raider and when the Raiders picked him up, I was really happy. So I went out and got his jersey. I got it on clearance though because when he retired they put his jersey on clearance. But shout out to Jordy Nelson, even though it was one season, you know, one of the greats to play the game. One of the greatest wide receivers. But yeah, anyway, so next up I'm gonna do my stitched ones. First one is a Nike Limited jersey. This is a Denarius Moore. I remember that game against the Chargers on Thursday Night Football in 2011. Carson Palmer and Denarius Moore had a connection in that game. I was excited when they beat the Chokers in San Diego. Next up. I'm, now this one right here. Oh my goodness, I'm dropping everything. This one right here, it is a silver alternate jersey. It's made by Reebok, but this is a fake. This is a Dante Culpepper. Now the story behind this jersey, now I found this at a Goodwill about, I should say around 2015-ish. It was right after I graduated high school. Uh, this is when I started collecting jerseys. And I remember, and it was also when I started thrifting full time too. I remember that when I when I found this, I found this at a Goodwill, and at the time, of course, you know, I was so excited because I legit thought I found an authentic jersey. I was super hyped. I remember I was talking about it for a long time, and I was just always bringing this jersey up. I even rocked it at school a lot when I was going to college. But then, as I got older, and then I started learning about jerseys more, I realized that this was a fake. And I was a little bit bummed out about it because I was like, damn, I thought I legit found an authentic because it was stitched and the jock tag was a number jersey. But then, you know, as I started learning, as you can see on the jock tag, the NFL players is stick together and the guy and the the guy looks like a freaking scribble scrabble drawing and the Reebok logo's off. And even too, look where the jock tag is stitched. It's like high up on the jersey. It's it's really bad. Yeah, and then you know the nameplate, it's just too thick. It just it just looks like it's cheap and the and the tackle twill is all cheap. And then right here on the Reebok tag you could see that it's just really off. So yeah. This is the first time I ever picked up a fake. And I know I don't I don't mess with fakes at all. I don't I don't rock them, but I kept this one because this jersey taught me a lesson. This was the first time that I ever learned and you know what, you learn from your mistakes. And, uh, you know, it's a cool jersey, too, just to rock around the house or whatever. You know, I'm not going to get rid of it, but, I mean, it fits me, so that's the good thing. <clears throat> Anyways, moving on. Next up, I have my Howie Long Wilson Authentic. Now, this jersey was dead stock. As you can see right here on the, I still have the little thing on it. And uh, I had a tag on it, but unfortunately, because since I was cleaning out my closet, I ripped the tag out when I pulled the jersey out of the closet, since my closet's stuffed. But I was a little bit bummed out, but whatever. At least I can rock it now, I guess. But yeah, this is a Wilson jersey. Old ass jersey. Really dope. Uh, next up, um, I'm gonna show this one. This is next up. This is my Charles Woodson starter stitch jersey. This one is basically like the Swingman edition of football jerseys. It's stitched and it's really old as you can see. There's a lot of wear to it. So, but yeah, this is one of those jerseys that I definitely found off of. Uh, I think I got this off a of seller off Instagram. He's selling it for cheap. But yeah, shout out to Charles Woodson. Just got in the Hall of Fame. So, definitely a Raider, Raider legend. Next up, I did a review on this recently. This is my Tim Brown's Starter Authentic. The jock tag right there. This one has the 75th anniversary patch. Really dope. I wasn't able to fix this or anything. I think someone had a patch on here because it looks like something was torn off, but whatever. Yeah, there's that. And this one's really dope. This is my James Jet team-issued jersey. 
As you can see, it's from the 19... Let me get a better look. This is from the 1994 season. We got the size 46 long. James Jett, another one of the great Raider receivers we've had. So yeah, this was definitely one of my favorites. This is the only white one that I have that's stitched. I don't really have a lot of white jerseys because, I don't know, I'm not a fan of white. And my last two, well, I just did a review on these, so these should be fresh for you guys. This is my Tim Brown. Wilson Pro Cut. I feel like I'm missing one more. And my last one is my Aaron Wallace Pro Cut. We got the 1990, was that 1996? Aaron Wallace, really super sick jersey. So that is that. I feel like. I feel like I'm missing the jersey. Wait, hold on a second, guys. Hold on. Wait, hold on a second, guys. Just give me a sec. All right, one more jersey, I knew it. It is my Tim Brown Mitchell NS replica. And this one right here is another one I found at the thrift. This is my favorite Raider jersey find at the thrift. So yeah, that's, that's the jersey. All right, so that is for sure the end of the collection. So yeah, anyway, so yeah, that's my Raider jersey collection. Um, again, it's not much, it's nothing crazy. Um, you know, I'm focused right now on trying to build it up more, but yeah. As you know, it's always go Raiders. Raider football's around the corner. Let's do this, man. We looking good. Really looking good this season, man. So shout out to all the homies out there. Shout out to all the Raider fans. Shout out to the Jersey Heads. Shout out to everybody. We going to the Super Bowl this year in LA, man. We taking over. I really hope so. See you guys. Peace.